Warning, this video will have some pretty nasty injuries. But you know what, I got you. Because right before they come up, I'll give you a warning so you know, you don't get scared. Because if you're like me and you don't like seeing that, that stuff, I, I got you. The six worst injuries in the history of the NBA. Now not all of these are bloody and Kevin Ware type injuries. Some of them aren't even a terrible injury, but they changed the NBA forever, so they deserve to be on the list. Number six. Remember how I said I was gonna give you a warning before showing something graphic? Yeah, psych, surprise! <laughs> JK, it's just a potato. Okay, for real though, number six, Rajon Rondo. Now, if you've played basketball before, if you fall down, your instinct is to put your hands out. I know someone from my school who they did that, they broke both their wrists falling backwards. And this is why I hate when NBA players pull down the player they're guarding. Look at this in slow motion. They're hustling and tussling, and Wade just falls. All he does is fall, trips him, and his hand is sticking out. If you're Rondo, like, what are you gonna do? That's your reaction, and it just snaps. I don't know how, but thankfully, Rondo was able to have a full recovery from that injury. Not all injuries have a full recovery. Kind of like number five. Number five. This isn't the most gruesome injury, but it was one of the most important ones in recent history. Just pa pause it, pause it. Let me just go back real quick, rewind it for a little bit, and let's look at the start of Derrick Rose's career. The number one overall pick. The youngest MVP in the history of the NBA. They were the number one seed in the East. They were looking like they had chances at a title, chances to get to the finals. That moment changed his career. That not only his career, that changed the entire NBA. That moment changed his career. That not only his career, that changed the entire NBA. Like, you guys know I'm a Thunder fan and I'm a biased Thunder fan. I'll admit, he could have been Westbrook. He could have been maybe even a little better than Westbrook. That, he was the Westbrook before Westbrook turned into a star. So nothing too nasty, but it deserved to be on the list because that, I really think, changed the course of NBA history. Hey, like you guys know I'm a Thunder fan and I'm a biased Thunder fan. I'll admit, he could have been Westbrook. He could have been maybe even a little better than Westbrook. That, he was the Westbrook before Westbrook turned into a star. Number four. Okay, remember when I said I'm gonna give you a warning before showing a nasty injury? Yeah, th this is one of those. Andrew Bogut, before he went on the Mavs, before he went on the Cavs, before he went on the Warriors, he was a buck. Off a rebound, Andrew Bogut's going on a fast break. Amari kind of pushes it. Oh my god, he pushes him on the back. And when he felt, it wasn't a bat, it wasn't a, a flagrant or something, but the way he landed, when you see this in slow motion, and he dislocated his elbow, dislocated his shoulder. Broke his arm, bro, I, you can't, he's in crazy pain right there. And you can't blame him. It, it's the work of God. I don't know how, but he fully recovered from this injury. Number three, Jamal Crawford. This is back when he was on the Bulls. He, oh my gosh, he landed on his neck. He, look at, he broke the fall with his neck hitting down on the court. That's the type of stuff that could paralyze a person. This is the type of stuff that could forget a career and people's lives. People will never be the same after this type of stuff. I don't know how, like I said, with the Bogut one, he came back to normal. Number two. So look, it, it looks like a simple play, but if you look close to what happens, Marquise Daniels, his neck, his neck kind of gets turned really fast in a really bad way. He's going in the post, he's going, and then as soon as he turns, looks to what happens. His head gets stuck and he collapses. This is the scariest part to me. You know, when someone's in pain, they start flailing, they start, you know, screaming, dead, silent, just cold-blooded hit the ground. That's how you think someone died. Like that, that, that's, I would have been terrified if I saw that in real life. Like everyone just kind of froze. Yeah, he had a bruised spine, which by the way is no joke but it didn't look good the way he came down. Like that's not something you can do on purpose, do on accident, it just happens in the moment. Number one. This one, a lot of us were old enough to see, and I'm sure a lot of you guys remember, Paul George in the Team USA Basketball Showcase. It wasn't even a, a competitive game, it, it, was, it was just a showcase, you know? It's the Olympics, it's Team USA, everyone's having fun, no one's playing uber aggressive, you know, no one's trying to get someone to hurt. It's just one of those times where it's just wrong place at the wrong time and something terrible happens. And th th by the way, this is the one, one of the ones that kind of a warning, if you don't want to see something kind of nasty, don't look. But you see these posts, these black posts uh, behind the basketball hoop? 
they're kind of close. When someone's running full speed into that, you can land on the wrong spot, and that's exactly what happened. They're on the fast break. Paul George is running full speed and jumps. He, oh my god, he lands. I, I, he lands right there. I, I don't know how that, that angle is possible. I, what I think is one of the worst parts about this is how, you know, it's a showcase. It, it's Team USA versus Team USA. It's not even a competitive game where everyone's going 100%. Even myself, when I saw this happen, I love Paul George, but when I saw this happen, I didn't think he'd come back 100%. But hey, man, I'm, I'm very happy I'm wrong. He has been killing it, and he's been dominating like it never happened. These are the six worst injuries I've seen in NBA history. I know this is a little bit more of a serious video. I joke around more in my videos, but this one, I this one we have to take seriously because this is this is crazy stuff. This is real stuff, man. But thankfully, all six of them today are doing okay. They came back and they're healthy. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Let me know in the comment section if you think a different injury should have been on the list and which one it was. I'll see you guys later.